So first of all, what is Riverwatch? Riverwatch is an organization that collects a good deal of uh, water sampling data and is predominantly citizen science based, meaning that it's not professional collecting the data in most cases. It's volunteers who have received training, being su sometimes supervised by water professionals, but often it's just people who care about rivers and want to make a difference. So here, uh, you see us doing some field testing at one of our streams, and uh, yeah, and really we've only done the three of us have been involved in Riverwatch for about three years. Uh, as you can see, we were very young. <laughs> Uh, we began at Elk Creek, and we had a lot of supervision at the beginning, because as Aiden said, we didn't have that much training, and we needed a lot of adult help as we began. And our first creek that we began to analyze was Elk Creek, which is in Newcastle. And of course, we didn't have, we needed help for almost everything. We needed help analyzing and gathering data and titrating, and it probably didn't help that we were too young to drive around. And then, as we got more experienced and more involved, we began analyzing the second creek, which was South Canyon, found nearby Collingwood Springs. And during the time that we were analyzing both these creeks, our supervisor, supervisor moved away. We got a new one, but as this like sort of changed over, we became more student-led and driven, but we still had that support from Mendel. But it was very much independent, and we were very lucky to have that, as long as our new support group. So, as far as the way we made that is Elk Creek, our major concern with Elk Creek is that it has never been analyzed before. We were the first team to collect data on it, and what we really wanted to study was the potential effects of mining on a creek that had such a close proximity to a town and its drinking water. Our second stream, as you can see, this is sort of a trailhead for South Canyon. Uh, South Canyon was certainly an interesting matter, because as we began to analyze it, it was just around the time of Steve Buckley's plan for development of the hot springs and the bike trails. Um, it has such a close proximity to this hot springs as well as the trash landfill, which is found farther upstream. And it has many bike paths around, so it's such a large forest craft, but it also has many other things. And the water quality that was called into question during the development time was that there's a large amount found of E. coli in the stream and in the hot springs nearby, and we wanted to potentially analyze how the water could be dangerous. Yeah. So, the big thing uh, but more than all that, our data really had an impact. So, lesser on Elk Creek, but Elk Creek was at the time in fairly heavy concern because Elk Creek is the sole drinking water supply for the town of Newcastle and occasionally will aid in drinking water supply for silt. So, we needed to make sure that there was nothing wrong with it because people were starting to point out why have we never, why is there not regular water quality testing just in case something happened. So, we generally concluded that the mine had limited impacts, but had no more impacts than any other mine, than any other creek in the state of Colorado. So similar to uh, when Aspen Country Day talks about the metal impacts on Castle Creek, Elk Creek has similar impacts where it's a healthy functioning stream, but there still is a legacy of mining. Whereas we found with South Canyon that there are significant water quality issues. Essentially everything is high, so high alkalinity, high hardness, high metal count, like there's a lot of just everything. It's a very highly concentrated stream because you have uh, pollution from a dump and, uh, and the hot springs. So in terms of that, we really, our, da our data has been used in evaluating development proposals. Uh, and the other big impact we wanted to share was not just the impact of our data from a scientific perspective, but being on the team has had real educational value for us, so we had the opportunity to work with scientific equipment that most high schoolers aren't trusted with. We've gotten to deal with lab safety procedures and have formalized training. We do testing every year for like quality assurance, and that level of precision is not something that's often taught in high school, and we really think that the program itself has benefited us because it's not an opportunity that most rural students are allotted since we're not in uh, close proximity to research universities. So we wanted the purpose of this presentation to be that we have completely conducted all of our water quality work independently from our high school. So while we do identify ourselves as the Coleridge High School Water Summit, we have not received any assistance from our high school. 
Whereas if you control the very long program from Glenwood High School, which was established, I believe, in the 90s? Yeah. So it's been going continuously for almost, or almost 30 years at this point. Uh, and those kids, like, it's uh, rigorized, and it's in the regular curriculum, and they receive school credit for it. And we wanted the purpose of our presentation to be to illustrate how influential this program has been on us and why we think that more schools should adopt Riverwatch programs in their curriculum, like Glenwood, and that in schools that are unwilling to provide these opportunities, the students should start their own teams because there's creeks all over the state of Colorado that have not received enough water quality data that need that data to be taken while also providing an amazing educational opportunity for students. Does anyone have any questions? What made you guys interested in this in the first place? I have a natural interest in just being outside, so when Aiden kind of proposed this idea to start, we call it stream team, so I thought it sounded really interesting because it was science and being outside. And it was just what sort of my interest dropped into one, so I decided to take the leap on it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, and for me, it was both that I have a lot of natural environmental interests, and also that I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to receive really hands-on science work and not just be learning about things in the classroom to actually be able to see them in real life. Nice so I see you doing the water chemistry there. What, what all were you testing? So we test, uh, so us personally <coughs> do titrations to calculate hardness, dissolve oxygen, and alkalinity, and then we also separately calculate pH, and then we ship samples off to the State River Watch Lab to process for metals data, and I think twice a year uh, we sample nutrients data. Okay. 